what is your definition of love? Is it affection, gifts, or time? Is it tender words or a caring touch? Well, let's see what you think after our story. Once upon a time, during the reign of Jeroboam, king of Israel, there lived a prophet named Hosea. And when the Lord began to speak through Hosea, the Lord said to him, Go, marry a lawless woman and have children with her. For like an adulterous wife, Israel is guilty of unfaithfulness to the Lord. So Hosea married Gomer, and over time they had three children, a son, a daughter, and another son. All seemed well and fine. But one day, Gomer abandoned her family for another man, leaving the prophet Hosea and their children to feel the slap of her disregard. For weeks, Hosea languished until God spoke his word. He told Hosea to go and retrieve his wife. Hosea obeyed, but he couldn't take his wife without a price. The man his wife left him for demanded payment. Can you believe it? And so, here we find Hosea and Gomer as their new beginning begins. No, no, wait, 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 what, what are we doing? What's going on? What's going, wait, why are you taking me? What, what's happening, my love? What's happening? Where, where are we going? If, if you're upset, just, just let me know what I did. What did I do? What? No, no. Here's your payment. Here's your wife. Oh. No, no, no. Enough of this. Let's go. Get, get away from me. You know he's not coming back. Come. We have a lock walk over. Let's go. How much was in the bag? Huh? How much was in the bag? Fifteen shekels. Fifteen shekels? And barley? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's what I'm worth. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what you want. That... <laughs> really? Do you know the things that I've done? You're pathetic. Yes, you're pathetic. Why did you come for me? You should have left me there to die. And what of your children? <laughs> if not for you, I wouldn't have them. Uh, no, just... Who told you to love me? I said, who told you to love me? The Lord! The Lord? The Lord? Who is he to? Keep your mouth shut, woman. Lest you die like a pillar of salt. Some people cannot see because they are blind. But you, you have a perfect vision. And yet, you choose to close your eyes. When I found you, I found you drunk and abandoned. But I saw something in your eyes. A glimmer of hope. I married you. I restored you. I rescued you from your shame. But that's not enough. 
also the way you look at other men. How you eye them in the marketplace. I've heard the whispers, the rumors, but I choose to ignore them. I pay them no heed. Why? Because I believe in our family. Because unlike you and the rest of Israel, I believe that the Lord's will always work out for the best. But you, you are in the hell of your own creation. Our children whom you abandon, they pine after you every day. They saw the emptiness in your eyes and the boredom in your voice. Still, they love you. Freedom is here. Abundance is here. All of us waiting patiently for the day that you will realize that you are no longer a slave. Yet, that is what you will choose. I, I don't know how to have a family. I can't do it. It's too hard. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Will it bring you to this point and ask no plan for the future? How? How? How what? How could you love me? Our people turn to other gods. The Lord still loves them. It doesn't matter what you have done. The Lord, the Lord has commanded me to love you. So, so, do you, do you love me? I have loved you from the first day I set my eyes on you. Believe me, I still love you. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Goma, thank you, Goma, thank you. Listen. That part of your life is over. Now, tell me, do you want to leave? Yes, yes. Then we'll start all over. You, me, and the children at home. All of us to a new beginning. A new beginning. All right then. Let's go home. <laughs>